It is getting to the be that time of the year when people make their way to Delmarva's beautiful beaches. And one of the draws to the beaches is the fresh seafood that the area has to offer. Simply put, it can't be beat. Mm -mm, can't be beat. Now, if that's what you're after, then we are off to a place that you absolutely have to visit. It is the Shrimp Boat in West Ocean City. We sent 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus to get a taste of what they have to offer. And go find your car keys because we're sure you're, want, you're going to want to go over there too. Thanks, guys. As the temperatures increase, so do my cravings for seafood. So naturally, I came over here to the Shrimp Boat on Route 611 in West Ocean City. And here with me, I have Joe, the owner of the Shrimp Boat. Thanks for having me, man. Corey, thanks for being out here today. Now, let's kick things off with the history of the Shrimp Boat. It wasn't always this amazing building that we're standing next to now. It had some pretty simple roots. It did. When, when my uncle started this business in 1989, he literally just set out a couple chairs, an umbrella, a scale, right alongside the road right here with a refrigerated truck and he just sold fresh seafood. Every person who come up, he would show them how to cook it. They would buy it right off the boat basically and take it home. The next year he added a boat. He just brought a little wooden boat in just for a display so people knew he was here. And in fact, the, the, the boat we have today is a third generation boat with built in refrigerators and sinks and coolers and drains and all kinds of neat thing just like everything else around here it's evolved certainly more advanced than a little wooden boat it definitely and, and a lot safer too <laughs> yeah, absolutely but uh in 2009 he put the first kitchen in so that the customers had the option to have the food cooked here or or take it home still fresh and he outgrew that in one year and and added the second kitchen which is attached to our dining room that he put in in 2011 and now you can come in and you can still take all the products we sell here fresh you can take them to go cook or you can just sit down and enjoy yourselves and eat the meal here so we're in Ocean City, seafood is plentiful. Yes. What makes you unique? What makes you guys provide something that nobody else can compete with? Well, every morning we're down at the docks. So we, we buy everything we can local, whether it's uh, scallops or lobsters right here in Ocean City, uh, clams. We even go down to North Carolina every day with a truck and pick up fresh shrimp. Our crabbers are local. We we're going to be at the dock and, and check the seafood out before we bring it in. And then once we have it here, we actually bring it in into our kitchens and grade the shrimp here, grade the crabs here. We don't let anybody else do it for us. Okay, so you mentioned kitchens. Kitchens usually mean food. Yes. Uh, you see where I'm going with oh, this? Oh, yeah. We're going to try. Let's, let's go make something inside. Sounds good. So we're in the kitchen with Joe and my new friend, Jimmy Hoppa Jr. And I have to be honest with you, man. I have no idea what to do when it comes to ordering seafood. I don't know how many bushels feed how many people, and I'm always afraid of ordering too much. I'm always afraid of having leftovers. And, and I, honestly, we could help you with all that. If you come up and tell us how many folks are coming to your party or, or your get-together, and even what else you're having on your menu, we can help you figure out how many bushels or how many half bushels per, per number of people. And then we also have a lot of fun with the leftovers, too. Yeah, I can see that. What could I do if I have eight or ten extra crabs? Obviously, it's not enough to feed me and a bunch of my friends, no. but there's something you say we can do with this? Yeah, actually, just let it cool off and then, you know, pick the meat, put it in the fridge, back to the fridge. And the next day, do something like make crab dip. That's what we're going to do here now. Let's make some. All right. So I just have a block of cream cheese, and this is how we make our crab dip. We use the fresh hand-picked crab meat, nice. and we're just going to put it in there. But you would use your, your, your leftover crab. My Jimmy Hoppa Jr. Yes. I would miss him, but <laughs> a little parsley, coarse ground pepper, some chopped garlic, and then if you want to toss in the, the shrimp boat crab spice. The last thing is a little bit of mozzarella cheese. The whole thing? Yep. Oh my gosh, yes. I love cheese. Yep. Oh, it's going to be cheesy and crabby. And then just get in there. Here, you try it too. All right. Get in there. Just. Mix it together so it's good and uniform. And if you're not sure just how much to make, start with a half a block of cream cheese. If you only have, I don't know, five or six crabs. And if you feel like you want to stretch it a little bit further, add a little bit more cream cheese. All right, I think we're pretty much mixed you here. You got it. All right, so now that it's mixed up, we're just going to, now we use a uh, focaccia roll. The reason why it's a little bit savory, this is a sweet, uh, a crab dip recipe and you're just going to take and on yours right there you're just going to put a little bit right on top you can use any bread you want even some old bread that you have from the picnic from the day before you know yeah i want to eat this right now it smells delicious this only takes a couple minutes in the toaster oven about eight minutes in the toaster oven cool 
And then the last thing is just a little bit of the crab spice on top, just a sprinkle, just with your fingers actually. Oh, okay. You're you just gonna, that then. yeah. Just, you don't, you don't wanna overdo it because you wanna taste the crab. There's a lot of crab meat in there. All That's right. it. We're gonna pop this in the toaster oven for about eight minutes. So it's right, done. Cool. Joe, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And if you'd thanks like any more information or to get some recipes, check it out at delmarvalife.com. Jimmy, Lisa? Is that Jimmy Jr. he's eating there? You know, uh, <laughs> when are we expecting Corey to come into the studio again? I, I would just like to say in complete confidence that we look forward to tasting the delicious food that you just prepared on television, Corey. We can't wait till you bring ours back. Yeah, especially since you named it after him. <laughs> it must have been a tall crab. <laughs>